Uh, well, obviously, it's an important game, and it's a, it's a great win. I thought it was our best ball movement in quite a while. I mean, we've been moving it okay, but tonight we we moved it at a, an exceptionally high level, which was which was great. Um, Hardaway was great. Dwight Powell was great. I think Powell tied a career high in blocks. He got the defensive belt. Um, Powell just gave us great energy all night long, and uh, you know he was a real key to the game. Um, you know when Luca got ejected, Brunson came in and really did a great job of running the team. Um, the Luca play, I'm really not going to comment on it, other because I, I didn't I didn't see it closely enough. I'm looking up at the screen and I'm really not catching. Uh, much of it at all. Um, unfortunate, but you know, it, it sparked our guys and uh, did a good job finishing the game up. Eddie? Rick, uh, I, I know you'd rather have them out there, but if there's a silver lining with uh, KP and, and Maxie not being out there, it seems like everybody uh, that might be getting a few extra minutes in spite of the, or instead of those guys is playing with a, a, a ton more confidence now. Is is that maybe a, at least a positive byproduct of, of not having those guys as everybody else has uh, got confidence off the charts right now? Well, as certain guys have missed games, other guys have had to step up. Um, you know, guys like Josh Green, Nico Melli, um, you know, Trey Burke um, and others. And, you know, these guys do the work, they're prepared, uh, which makes them confident to begin with. And so, uh, yeah, look, it's, there's been opportunity here. Um, guys have taken advantage of it to, you know, help the team, um, you know, as, uh, as Maxi and KP get closer to coming back, you know, that's great news for us. Um, tonight, we were fortunate again. No one even got near the 30s minutes wise. Um, so we'll take it. You know, we'll take it. And we got to get ready for, you know, another um, game on Tuesday night that's, that's going to have um, a much different feel to it. Rick, obviously, things can get difficult whenever your best player uh, is ejected. Uh, how did you feel like with the 30 to 15 run, what was your perspective on the response after that happened when Luca got ejected early in the third quarter and, and how you were able to extend the lead? Yeah, look, the guys played terrific basketball. They, they moved in on offense. They helped each other on defense. They rebounded, um, played an efficient, you know, brand of basketball for seven or eight straight minutes and hit some shots, you know, and, uh, and got some separation, which was great news. And, Look, everybody got in the game, you know, so that's something to feel good about. And, you know, now we're, you know, getting out of here and gaining an hour back and going to Memphis. And, uh, you know, we have a practice day tomorrow and, um, you know, and then we're getting ready for another one of many big games as we go down the stretch of the season. Rick, you mentioned after the Miami game that uh, you pointed out that Hardaway's two big score nights had come when he started, and you didn't think that was a coincidence. Obviously, he's kept rolling. Has he uh, created a situation where when you get guys back, you need to find a way to keep him in that starting lineup? It's a conversation um, that we're having. Um, but we're going to, you know, we'll see when guys come back. Um, and when it when it turns into, you know, something where we have to make a make a hard decision, um, look at Richardson played great tonight. Um, did a did a real good job on on Sexton, who's a, a very difficult cover. Um, the good news is, you know, we we want to get as many guys playing well as possible. And um, you know, when it comes time to make hard decisions on who starts and who doesn't start. The important thing is that, you know, guys are, are ready to play and, and ready to fill the roles necessary for us. Um, so we'll see. We'll see how, how things go here. We'll see when guys come back and we'll, you know, we'll, we'll adjust as we need to adjust. All right. Thanks, Coach. Thanks. Um, um, all right. Tim McMahon. 
Hey, Luca, uh, you know, we've obviously seen the replay. Just wanted to get your explanation of what happened on the play with Sexton that uh, they gave you a flagrant two on. Uh, I don't know. Like, uh, after I saw the video, I knew I hit him, but it wasn't nothing uh, on purpose. Uh, I think that kind of stuff happens uh, a lot in the games, you know, but I don't know. That's my explanation. It obviously wasn't. Wasn't on purpose, you know. Just two guys fighting for a ribbon, I guess. Callie. Hey, Luca. I guess I want to follow up on that. And what were your thoughts as the replay was taking? You know, I think it, it lasted about five minutes. Were you were you wondering what they were thinking about? Because I think originally they went to the to the monitor to see if the foul had even just occurred before the shot clock violation. I mean, that's what I thought they were looking at. I, I would. I was really surprised when they called flagging too. I, I didn't know at all.